and today I'm going to be talking about how crazy December was for me and I want to talk about the vacation that I took after all that craziness and a couple things that I ordered online one was from a Instagram ad and the other one was from Karen Lace and Lashes so if you follow her you'll know this bag so to cut this video short let's get started December was just really crazy for me like every day I would be working when there's still daylight and then I'd be coming home when there's night time when it's night time so that's why I didn't really have enough time I just couldn't fit in anything after because by the time I get home I'm like so exhausted I just told myself that you know what I'm just gonna make a video after all this craziness that's been happening so now I want to talk about the item that I bought from an Instagram ad. It's called Shaper Mint. This is what it comes into. Uh, so this one I actually got December 24th, just before Christmas, because I got this for myself for Christmas. And uh, when I got that one, it was this one that I got. So which was a shorter version. Today is January 7th and I got this one um, as you can see it still has tag and um, I got this one because when I wore this on the 26th it just felt a little too tight because it is tight I just dropped that one because it is like a really tight so it kept rolling um, off me okay so I'm not wearing makeup right now but um, so I bought this shaper mint um the one that i've been seeing on ads okay i don't have flat stomachs and that's why i bought it um and it says it doesn't roll down but you can really tell that it rolls down over here and gives me that ugly bulge over here this is the first time i'm wearing it too i have to keep rolling it and pulling it up just so that it hides that bulge over there I got this on December 24th. It's my first first time wearing it now. It's December 26th right now. I figured maybe I should buy a size or maybe two sizes up for me so maybe I'm not like dying but this is like a size XL XXL this is like a size two sizes up for me and look how like really tight that is so I'm like hoping it's not gonna be like as tight as the first one but I'm still gonna keep the other one just in case I'm not per perfect um, I have like a good amount of belly right there so this is why I want to try on the items for you guys to see how it actually is totally not a sponsored so that's why I just want to make a review about this item the next thing I want to talk about is a bag that I saw from Karen lace and lashes if you know her and um, she posted this on her Instagram story and when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. This is like, so this is a Chanel dupe and I really, really love the color of this bag. It's just really nice. Um, it's really cute. Maybe it's about decent size. 
Uh, so the reason for me that I wanted to just get this because first was the color. Second is because like Chanel is a lot of money. Okay, that's still in the process of me saving for one. For so long, I have been re taking like reviews about it, if it's worth buying it. And I've seen a lot of YouTuber YouTubers that it is not worth it to buy a Chanel Jumbo, um, especially a brand new one. So, but still like a pre-loved one is still a lot of money. So that's why I just wanted to like try it out. Um, this is exactly like how it is. I think this might be a medium or a jumbo, I'm not sure. But I did hear that it's good for every day and I've tried this out and I believe them. That's the reason why I want to try this out. This is from Red Dress, the US based um, site. So if you're Canadian, you're definitely going to have to pay the uh, difference. But um that that wasn't bad for me so that's why i like this one and this is a vegan vegan um leather i'm gonna show you the inside of it uh so it still has that secret pocket here like the chanel bag it's uh, for the real chanel bag i'm not sure if they have this pocket please let me know if they do just so i know it's got the button here double flap uh, the magnetized button here it's got the uh, pocket here and it is that it has that spacious spacious um, area here and two pockets right here and then maybe like a pocket for your pen and also the famous Mona Lisa smile of course this is not gonna be perfect Chanel um, dupe if it doesn't have this Two things that I think is kind of a no-no for me is that when it doesn't have anything, it is hard for me to like really put it on because otherwise that's like, it's just really hard for me. Like see how it just like, that's what happens. Um, so it really have to push it in here if it doesn't have anything so if you have a lot of things here it's probably easier and then the second thing is that it has this miss um miss chain leather whatever you call how you ever call it um so yeah i think that's all that's all and it's not as smooth to do it so it's just really better for like a shoulder um bag but the color and everything else i would say like it's good so i would say this is probably like an 8.5 for me but yeah okay so now let me tell you my weekend getaway with my boyfriend so at first we went to london ontario um it's about two hours from where i am because i'm from mississauga and um when we got there the hotel that we stayed in is called best restaurant and the place there was like it was just really cozy environment and it's just really nice there's this like pool area and they have the small gaming room that i forgot to actually take a video of because i forgot my phone in the room like i said i just wanted to like enjoy the moment and to just really embrace the moment that we have um so uh there was like a sauna there was a gym in this hotel it was just really really nice i will see i will see if i could like find it and then i, I could probably link it down below um then uh, we went snowboarding it lasted about probably like four hours there's a really small mountain and the highest part that they have they shut it down which i don't know why probably because of the weather the weather was like four and the ice is kind of like melting but it's kind of like a perfect day for snowboarding because it's not too too cold which is perfect and then um when we went back to the hotel after snowboarding uh, we went swimming. Well, I didn't really take a video of it. I just wanted to enjoy the time. On our first day, we just kind of relaxed. Like after 
after going there we kind of just relax in the hotel because we got there a little late so there's nothing really going on plus we got there on january 1st everything is closed anyway so we just stayed in the hotel and then we brought my laptop on like in the washroom because the washroom they have a jet um, jacuzzi in in there and so we brought our laptop in there and we ordered pizza and I want to insert photo over here and then um, we just did a bubble bath just soaked there and just kind of enjoy this like fancy thing I always see and it was just a really nice thing and we did that for the two days that we were there because we only, we were only like there for um, two nights and three days so we did it for two days after the skiing on the second day and we got back home uh, we went swim uh, we went swimming and then we did the same bubble bath thing but this time it was like with Chinese food and it was just really nice so um, yeah really really enjoyed the weekend and I thank my boyfriend for that and I thought I told him that it was like it was just a nice treat for me on January 3rd when we got back and went to Walmart we actually saw this frozen yogurt thing and um, I pointed it out to my boyfriend and I thought it was fun so I kind of just like you know see if it's any good so we tried that out and it was like really fun um, I don't know if it's worth it though it was like really expensive maybe it was like five dollars for half the cup I don't even like I don't know so I had like a late a late uh, Christmas party on January 4th with my friends because like I said everybody was crazy and it was hectic so we all decided to just do it after the year so January 4th we had our our Christmas party we had this game where um, the, the saran wrap and then um, gift wrap saran wrap gift wrap so it's just kind of alternating but each like layer has prizes on them but you have to wear gloves and dyes um, to play this game maybe just like five people stayed up until five o'clock or 6 30 and then we finally fell asleep and then the next morning when my friend was leaving um, he calls me he said his car got broken into like our parking space here and it was just crazy because I have never ever heard that in Mississauga or at least like not like where I'm around it's just never happened when where I'm around so I thought it was like crazy I've never heard anybody and actually seen anybody had their windshield um, not windshield their, their glass broken uh, but yeah so that was my crazy week <laughs> I don't think it's it just sounds it looks crazy for me but I don't think it really is like that for the way I say it anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again next week maybe hopefully finger finger crossed so bye market London market <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so nice here really look at that it's actually it's so small though it is, but it's still nice. These are candles? Yeah, Oh. These are so cute, and I found my mug. I want to buy it. It's so cute. So many? I want to, but I have so many mugs already.